there everyone, and how are you guys doing today? I am Joe Maring from MobileCupOfJoe.com, and in this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe, I'm going to be doing a little comparison video between the Nokia Lumia 928 and the HTC 8X. These two smartphones right here are both of the hottest Windows Phone 8 flagships currently available on Verizon Wireless. They're both going for free with a new two-year contract, and they both have similar specifications, but there's a couple of differentiating factors that make these two smartphones truly unique. So without further ado, let's go ahead and compare the Nokia Lumia 928 and the HTC 8X. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig for a mobile cup of Joe. All right, so this is the first ever comparison video we have ever done here in Mobile Cup of Joe. Over on this side, we've got the HTC 8X, and on this side, we have the Nokia Lumia 928. Both of these handsets are the latest flagship devices available on Verizon Wireless, and they are both currently going for free with a new tier contract. And let's go ahead and jump right in and see how they compare. We're just going to cover the design, some hardware specs, and the software, like we kind of do with our reviews, except times two. So on the front, you know, uh, the biggest difference is that the HTC 8X has a 4.3 inch screen, while the Nokia Lumia 928 has a 4.5 inch screen. On the front, you both both of them have front facing cameras, both have your three Windows Phone 8 capacitive touch buttons. On the back, the HTC 8X has an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash, Lumia 928 has an 8.7 megapixel rear facing camera with a xenon flash. Both have speaker grills on the bottom right there. Now, in terms of hardware buttons, this is where they're also different. On the HTC 8X, you've got your volume rocker and your camera capture button on the right-hand side with your power slash lock button on the top. On the Nokia Lumia 928, all of your buttons are on the right-hand side with your volume rocker, power button, and dedicated camera capture button. And I personally do prefer it being all on the right-hand side. You have access to everything on one side versus having to reach your finger up and get the power button on the HTC 8X. So in terms of design, you know, let's go for just a, a point of looks rather than a uh, functionality. HTC 8X is definitely a trimmer handset. You can see right here the difference. Probably better if I do it like this. You can see 8X is definitely much slimmer from all angles really. But you see the Lumia 928 has more of a rounded off and a kind of rectangle design, whereas the HTC 8X has a nice curved design. Uh, both fit good in the hand in different ways. The 8X rests nice and peacefully in your hand, whereas the Lumia 928, while it still feels great in the hand, it feels kind of more secure because of those flat edges. You can get a really solid grip on it. And it kind of feels more like a masculine design, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, from the back, I have to give it probably to the 8X just because the soft touch to grip they use compared to the polycarbonate here on the Lumia 928 feels a little better. And that blue color scheme just pops out more than the white here on the Lumia 928. It's also worth noting that the Lumia 928 is only available in black and white, whereas the HTC 8X is available in blue, yellow, red, and black. Although black and blue are the only options available to Verizon Wireless customers. Now let's go ahead and go into the hardware. Uh, both have the same 1280 by 720 HD screen resolutions. And honestly, both look really darn good. Uh, you'd be really hard picked to find a difference between the two. And, you know, some big screen buffs out there might be able to notice some differences. But personally, I think they both look fantastic. Uh, obviously, you're getting a higher pixel density on the HTC 8X because it's a 0.2 inch smaller screen size, so you have a more pixels per inch. But honestly, guys, both screens look fantastic. In terms of processing speeds, both have the exact same 1.5 GHz dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro CPU, and both have 1 GB of RAM as well. So your uh, processing speeds are virtually the exact same on both of these handsets. They're both very snappy and are both very fast performers for the Windows Phone 8 market. Now, in terms of cameras is where we start to see some differentiate, differentiating factors. Lumia 928 has an 8.7 megapixel rear-facing camera. HTC 8X has an 8 megapixel camera. Now, the Lumia 928 has a xenon flash, whereas the 8X has a LED flash. And this round goes to the Lumia 928 because that xenon flash is incredible for low-light situations. You can be in a pitch-dark room. I'll see if I can find a picture on here that I took. Not sure if I still have one or not. Oh, this is an example of one. My bathroom was completely dark. 
snapped a picture with the Nokia Lumia 928, and you can see it lit up the entire resol the entire area here. Uh, you just don't get that with an LED flash here on the HTC 8X. Now both take fantastic uh, light shots if you're indoors or outdoors with lots of daylight. Both of them take great shots there, but if you're talking about low light situations or really no light situations, the 928 really does shine. Now the 8X does have a little boost when it comes to the front facing camera because the HTC 8X uses an 88 degree ultra wide angle lens for its front facing camera which we're going to demo for you right, real quick. These are both the cameras and you can see right there that the 8X right here is able to capture a much wider uh, image right there. The Lumia 928 is kind of more close up on my face whereas the HTC 8X is able to get you again a very wide uh, angle and everything that that's going on. So in terms of front-facing cameras, I probably have to give it to the 8X, but since front-facing cameras are not nearly as important as your rear-facing cameras, if you're looking for nice photographs and really awesome low-light photos, I'd have to suggest the 928 would outperform the HTC 8X. Now battery life, both are about the same. Uh, I can't remember the exact milliamp hour battery here on the Lumia 928. I think it's like 2,000 milliamp hours or something. I'll put a little title on the screen about that. HTC 8X is an 1800 milliamp hour battery and both have about the same battery life really. Um, I was able, still able to get through a full day of use with both of them so battery life is really solid on both of these handsets. Both are also on Verizon Wireless, both have fantastic 4G LTE data speeds and both, both of them also have really great, uh, uh, what, am, what am I looking for? Good data speeds and a good call quality there. I cannot think right now. Now we're getting into the software. Both of these handsets are obviously running Windows Phone 8. Both have your live tiles and both have the customization options that we've come to expect with Windows Phone 8. But there are a couple of differentiating factors here. With the Nokia Lumia 928 being a Nokia product, you have Nokia's access to Nokia's fantastic, fantastic applications, including here City Lens, here Drive Plus, here Maps. You have Nokia Cinemagraph, Nokia Music, and these are some of my favorite applications I've ever used for Windows Phone 8 and really make Windows Phone 8 exciting for me. On the HTC 8X, however, you don't have those here applications. You don't have Nokia Music or Nokia Cinemagraph. On the HTC 8X, you have Photo Enhancer, you have NFL Mobile, you have the HTC app, and you have your flashlight. And that's about it. So Nokia does have an advantage when it comes to software because since they are the largest manufacturer of Windows Phone 8 devices, they're able to have more robust exclusive applications. So Nokia does have the upper hand when it does come to the software. So those are all the really main differences between these products. Um, what one should you get? Kind of up to you. Personally, I would probably go with the Nokia Lumia 928 simply because... Uh, you know, it feels great in the hand. Don't get me wrong, HTC 8X has an incredible design language here, but the Lumia 928 does feel really solid in the hand. Uh, I love the low-light photo technology with the Xenon flash and the Carl Zeiss lens. And again, those exclusive Nokia applications are fantastic. But these are both free on Verizon with a new tier contract. Check them both out and see what one's best for you. But for me personally, I gotta go with the Nokia Lumia. I just tossed my phone aside with the Nokia Lumia 928. So guys, that is the first comparison video I've ever done here in Mobile Cup of Joe. I know it's not the best because this is the first time we've ever done something like this. But please let us know what you thought of it in the comments below. Let us know if you want us to do more. And if you want us to do more comparison videos in the future, what handsets or tablets or whatever you'd like to see us compare in our little video here. With all that said, that's all the time we have for this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe. Guys, if you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it. It takes one second to do so and really does help support the show. And if you want to show support towards the show even more, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more Mobile Cup of Joe videos. Guys, Mobile Cup of Joe, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, and we're on Twitter. And make sure you head on over to www.mobilecupofjoe.com for the latest in technology news, reviews, giveaways, and more. I'm Joe Marin from MobileCupOfJoe.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.